Yeah, the Bailey Lovey test is really a, a set of chart design principles, um, um, and uh, um, it sort of lay down the rules of having charts to measure visual acuity. Um, that the important thing about the Bailey Lovey design principles are that the visual task is the same at one size, at each size level. As you go from one size level to the next, it's always represents the same amount of, of change in vision. Um, and that doesn't matter, it doesn't matter whether you're at the top of the chart, when you've got very poor vision, or when you've got really good vision and you're down near the bottom of the chart, um, going from one step to the next always carries the same meaning. Um, the Bailey Lovey charts um, are used in virtually all major research studies where visual acuity is one of the important outcome measures. Um, we developed the chart um, because of research. Um, in 40 years ago, Jan Lovey Kitchen and I, she was then just Jan Lovey, um, we um, started working together on a project looking at vision in people with um, macular degeneration. Most of these people had very poor visual acuity and um, on the charts that were um, available in those days, um, none were suitable for measuring visual acuity when people's vision was poor. And so we said we need to design charts that are different, that give us uh, more letters um, at the larger sizes. Um, the other feature of the charts is that as you go from one size level to the next, um, there's a constant ratio of size. Um, and when you put these, this combination of features together, that is the same number of letters per row, um, proportional spacing, and a constant ratio of size, um, you end up with a chart where the task is the same at each size level. <laughs> that um, I'd met um, um, Ed Kobodlansky, that's Big Ed, um, Ed Kobodlansky's um, father, and um, asked him if he would print up the chart um, for us and print it up with grey letters um, on the other side. Um, this gave us um, a, um, a high contrast chart with the black letters and a low contrast chart with the grey letters. The grey letters were very, very difficult to, um, to get to the right shade of grey um, and um, precision visions, um, printing expertise was very important in, in getting that done for us. And, and so um, we maintained a, a sort of a, um, a nice um, interrelationship with the, um, Precision Vision um, ever, since, ever since then.